Okay, so these are the ugliest earrings. I don't know what I was thinking about. But anyway, so I'm just using ugly pieces from failed jewelry attempts to make a template because we're going to use the template from the cutout to make some gorgeous hot glue jewelry earrings that dangle. Um, I've been wanting to make these for a while and I'm really goofing off. I'm supposed to be putting together a PowerPoint for a presentation tomorrow. So what we're going to do to start is, of course, my hot glue gun is sitting over off to the side. I got these glue sticks from Michael's earlier. They were, I think, $4.99. I was like, all right, glue sticks come through. Paints of your choice. You can glue whatever colors you want. I honestly thought they were kind of high. Maybe because I had gotten four sticks from the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to stick with the Dollar Tree for glue sticks from now on. So I'm just going to... Put my finger down and using a regular ink pen. I was gonna use a Sharpie, but then I wasn't sure if I'd be able to um, cover up the marker, but then I guess it really didn't matter only because we're painting anyway. So what I'm gonna do is, I mean, and you could draw templates all over this paper and have multiple pair, but I'm just gonna make one pair because that's all I have time for today. But you basically could start over in the corner and make several of these. And then we're just going to put the hot glue inside the template itself, let it dry, and then peel it off. So now with this one, we do want to make sure it's straight. Even though you already know with hot glue, nine times out of ten, we're going to have to cut the edges anyway, like to clean it up. And that's where the X-Acto knife comes in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was at the Dollar Tree. I cannot tell you all of the cute stuff they literally at the one that i really like to go to although it always has all that hanging out and stuff i told y'all about they had so many wood cutouts um for sale and normally those cutouts at michael's would cost probably 3.99 a dollar 25. so there were four cutouts like let's say four butterflies four birds four circles four triangles that you could make earrings or do anything that you want to with. And basically, if there's four in a pack, that's two pairs of earrings that you can make. So there's four, four items, two pairs of earrings. You could sell those any, earrings anywhere from, let's just say, seven to $10 if you wanted to paint them or what have you. So stinking cute. Or you could just get them, drill holes in them if they don't already have holes in them and sell them as they are. So think about that. You're paying a dollar twenty-five for four items that's what, like 30 some cents a piece to make earrings with? Come through Jesus. So we have our template. Just gonna get you close so you can see it. Drawn out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hot glue gun, which I'm hoping looks like it didn't stretch all the way over here. That kinda sucks. Let me go move the table because that'll be easier than me trying to, well, I guess moving y'all will be easier. Let's do that. I have so much stuff on the dining room table. It is really ridiculous and people are like hey let me see your studio child i don't have a studio i have a dining room table <laughs> stand by. even though we do have a spare bedroom i want that to be a bedroom i don't want that to be a craft room and we have so much space in the garage so it's that's what it's gonna be so i was able to move the table over to get closer to the glue gun so now what we're gonna do i might meet, move it just a smidge more just so i'm not pulling and it doesn't give me what i want in my mind this template is similar to the polymer clay earrings that you've seen people make that have like the um, the dangles, but I don't feel like messing with polymer clay, although I have a lot of it. And also it'll be heavy if I want it to kind of be like this and I want them to be lightweight. So let's hope the first one comes out okay. If not, it's okay if we have a blooper. We'll just end up. We'll just make another set. So what I'm gonna do is just follow the circle around and it's not gonna be perfect. Although I want it to be. And then let's start at the top here and then just go down. Maybe that'll be easier than trying to I see where I went all out the thing. So of course you all know I'm gonna be having to Straighten this up. Now what I probably could do is stop and um, maybe try to put some shape to it, but I'm not going to do that. 
So I'm gonna try to follow the shape. Maybe that would, and then fill in. Maybe that would be a little bit easier. Okay. I'm not putting it, pushing any glue out now. I'm just using the edge of the tip of the glue to add shape to it and I wanted to add a little bit more extra before it got dry. I had to actually go buy some parchment paper because I had bought wax paper which was when I thought I was supposed to have to do hot glue and apparently not because I think I told you that it stuck to that and I was like well that didn't work out. Let's just add a smidge more up here so I'm just trying to go back and add so that's less shaping and cutting I'm gonna have to do later on. Let's add a little bit more right here. And I could just use the nozzle of it really to kind of melt it into place. So I'm gonna start up here again and I'm pushing the glue stick from the top just to get an even flow of um, glue. And I'm gonna try this time to move it around I think I told y'all in one of my other videos that we are working on a hair care line. And um, I did a whole video about my background in hair and cosmetology and all that jazz. So be sure to watch that. But super excited because the products are delivering today. So excited. I, um, but now we're still working on the logo and the label and all that stuff. template I'm getting carried away with my pushing down on the glue stick. What's cool is you can make some open face earrings. I just thought about that, but you probably already know that anyway. Right, so just do a little um, frame and then don't fill it in. That would be really cool. It's not too late. I guess I could just draw another template and do that. And then they'd be like some hoops, maybe. Why don't we do that while those are drying? So, I'm just going to draw another template. Of course, be careful of the hot glue over there. Hey, I just want to go and do that. And it won't matter because we're painting, so you're not going to see that anyway, right? And then, I don't know, let's just do a whole open face set. Why not? We're here together.
Since it looks like I'm off screen up there, let's do this down here. And we really could repaint these bases that we're working with here, but they are hideous. I don't know that I want to attempt to repaint them. Let's just, oops, I ran it. I'm always touching stuff. I leave stuff alone. And you can go back. I saw somebody um, where they were going back smoothing stuff over with a tea light. I don't have a tea light, but I do have a um, lighter. So you can use that. schmooze it over or when it's almost dry I can push it down so I'm gonna leave stuff alone so let's get another glue stick right quick so when we start filling these in in case it runs low I won't have to stop in the middle of squeezing it out one thing about the hot glue is you're not gonna tell it what to do right <laughs> You know, it's not as easy to control as another medium or product. So let's start down here and I'm just gonna go inside the circle and do my best. I just wanna do like an open face design, like a hoop. And again, we can trim these up like after they're done. And you could do these like in really pretty metallic colors. Like how cool would that be? I'm just going over this one a little bit more because I noticed that that one went over. So let's go ahead and reload the glue gun. I'm just going to stick that back there and then as it starts going down, we'll just push it. And I'm not putting as much pressure on the glue this time to try to maybe have a little bit more control over it. I think it's gonna be so cute. Okay, so let's follow this one.
should have left it alone, but we're probably gonna, I mean, not probably, we're gonna have to clean these up just a little bit. I wanted a point on those, that's why I was doing that, so. And I want these to not be too fragile, so. I don't think they would be, but let's just thicken it up a little bit. Looks like glass. I guess if you want it, you could file this down a little bit. I wish I could lift it up, but because I can't, I'm gonna flip the camera around for you, okay? So I taped everything to the table. This is parchment paper, so I'm hoping it comes up easy. This is parchment paper I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not even sure if I'm going on the right side or not. But anyway, this is how we followed the template that we made, and I'm super excited. I wish I had some clear. I might just do these in like a, um, maybe we could cover those in a gloss. And then they would stay that way because they look pretty cool that way. But anyway, let's let them dry. I'm thinking polka dots. Oh, you know what I realized is I need to make these thick enough to poke holes in it. So let's do that. I'm thinking something turquoise would be pretty. So we're going to need to make this a little bit thicker down here at the bottom because we're going to need to drill a hole there. And we're gonna need to drill a hole here, so we're gonna get we need a little bit more to work with. Well, those are probably fine, but Let's let that dry. I'm gonna go unplug the um, hot glue so I don't jam myself up later and trip over it and burn my toe off. 